Hello, my laser engraving peeps. I'm here with the Laser Pecker Laser Pecker 4 Ultimate Combo. This kit includes the air purifier, the rotary extension, the slide extension, and of course, the Laser Pecker itself. And while there is an optional protective enclosure, this one comes with the magnetic protective cone. Laser Pecker reached out to me explaining that they love my style and delivery for tutorials on YouTube and asked if I'd be willing to cover their pecker, their laser pecker, that is, the laser pecker 4. They offered to send me their ultimate package, the laser pecker 4, and all these accessories. This kit's been sitting in my studio for a couple weeks now. Being unfamiliar with laser pecker, I was afraid the device would turn out to be low quality and I would struggle to create meaningful, valuable content that my viewers would accept. That said, once I put this box on my desk and begin the unboxing process, it was very clear that this is not a toy. The box itself was heavy, every single item in the box was meticulously packed, and every component looked and felt robust and heavy. Everything from the air purifier to the laser pecker itself, to the accessories has a strong, weighty, beefy, well put together feel to it. Having discovered that, I was very excited to put this together and learn all about it. And that's where I am currently at, the everything out of the box, everything put together phase. At this point, I will do my best to learn all about it and then create some videos showing you guys what it does, how it works, and teaching those who might own one how to use theirs. For now, let's have a quick look at everything they sent over. Here is the rotary extension. Like every other part, this extension has a beefy, heavy quality feel to it. Right here is a knob for raising and lowering the rollers. These arms right here come in two variety and are installed with simple screws. On the back is two USB A's and one USB C, as well as this knob that will loosen the device and allow you to tilt it. The rotary extension is also adjustable in length. You simply unlock it with this knob right here and this section will slide closer or further as needed. Then you simply lock it back in place. Here is the laser pecker itself. Attached is a protective shield that attaches through magnet. Attached to that is the hose for the air purifier. Sitting underneath the laser pecker is the slide extension. This extension is somewhat large and cumbersome. This extension simply slides on or off the laser pecker. With it off, the laser pecker looks like this, and this is your working space. With it on, the laser pecker looks like this, and this is your working space. This plate slides forward and backward. This movement allows for a much larger working area. This is a powered plate and it moves by itself doing a laser job. Here's an example of how it moves. One of my immediate disappointments with the slide attachment is no easy way to line up. The slide attachment simply butts up against the plate. To use the slide attachment, you slide it over the original base with no actual hardware to secure it or notches for it to slip into. It's totally up to you to butt it up against the base properly so you have straight movement forward and backward. I also found with no hardware holding the hose in place, it can droop onto the plate. I suppose a little experience will go a long way in using this slide attachment properly. The laser pecker itself is also powered and we have buttons right here to move it down and to move it up. The range of motion available is limited by this shield. If you remove this shield, its range of motion in the downward position is much greater.
here on the top of the Laser Petra 4 is a beautiful touchscreen. This touchscreen has many features, and one of them is to switch between the dual laser functionality of the laser pecker. This laser pecker has a 10 watt blue diode laser and a 2 watt infrared laser, and you can switch between them by simply touching the screen. The color of the touchscreen for the blue diode laser turns blue. For the 2 watt infrared laser, it turns yellow. Here on the screen, you can also put the machine to sleep, wake the machine up, enter your file list, and many other functions. This laser pecker has yet to be connected to my laser pecker app, so this touchscreen interface is quite bare at the moment. Here is the standard laser pecker plate. You can print directly to this plate, or you can place an alternate print plate above it. And the final component, the laser pecker air purifier. This purifier is compatible with multiple laser pecker devices and simply attaches to things such as the protective shield with this snap-on hose. Hiding under the lid of this tiny little air purifier box is a badass air purifier filter set. You can see right here, it's almost the size of the entire device, and it's made up of several layers of filter media. To install this filter, you simply slide it into the box and close the lid. Unlike air assist modules on laser engravers that are USB connected to the machine and controlled by the machine's brain, the laser pecker air purifier is totally manual. To turn it on, you simply press the plus button. With each additional press of the plus button, the purification becomes stronger. Depending on your print job, you can set this down to as low as you can get away with. On the lower settings, it's quite quiet. On its highest setting, it's actually pretty loud. However, I'll take loud over smoke anytime. For those of you wondering, the Laser Pecker Air Purifier does have an output hose. At the moment, my output hose is simply hanging off the table. If I find the purification to be sufficient, I won't need that output hose. Should you have the opportunity to vent this out a window and you choose to do so, the Laser Pecker Air Purifier allows you that option. And there you have it. That's the Laser Pecker 4 and all of its toy friends. I'm Mr. Greg. This is the Laser Pecker 4, and you're on 3D Rundown.